welcome back in this module we will cover the sampling process which will be carried out by the observer and fi in the sample school on the survey day you need to carry out both the section and student sampling prior to conducting the survey before starting the sampling please ensure to collect the attendance register from the school head or class in charge for the grade being surveyed for the na student sampling there are different scenarios and these have been explained next scenario 1 you report to school for the survey and for the grade in which the survey needs to be conducted there is only a single section for the same for example in xyz public school for grade 3 survey there is only one section section a now in section a if there are 30 or less than 30 students then the survey will be conducted with all these students present update the control sheet accordingly with help of the student attendance register this closes scenario 1 in scenario 2 let's assume xyz public school for grade 3 survey has 5 sections then how to select which section to do the survey in in this case write the name of the sections a b c d and e on chits of paper shuffle them and then randomly draw a chit if say section b is drawn in chit then section b is selected for the survey now at this point check how many students are there in section b in case there are exactly 30 students then the survey will be conducted with these 30 students but if there are less than 30 students for example section b has 25 students then what will we do as we have other sections a c d e we will repeat the chit and draw method and get another section for example section c and from this section we will randomly pick 5 students to fill the gap that is 30 minus 25 is equal to 5 update the control sheet accordingly with help of the student attendance register please note that the maximum students that can be surveyed as part of nas for a given grade in a given school is 30 scenario 3 last but not the least there is third scenario where after selecting the section either in single section school or multi section school we end up with more than 30 students let's assume in xyz public school the section that is being surveyed has 50 students in such a case we will perform the following steps in such situations we need to calculate something what is called as sampling interval let's denote that with m to calculate m divide the total number of students in section with 30 so in case of xyz public school with 50 students in a section divide 50 by 30 and you will get 1.6 round off this number to the nearest integer that is 2 so m is equal to 2 next write down roll numbers of students on different sheets folded alike so roll number 1 to 50 are written on different sheets and one sheet is drawn out at random This will be the starting roll number for the survey of first survey student. Let this roll number be 32 in case of XYZ public school. Now refer to the attendance register you collected earlier and locate roll number 32. This student becomes the first sample student. Now using the sampling interval m, select every mth student or in this case every second student. So 34, 36 38 and so on till 30 students are complete if the count crosses 50 you start again from 1 till 30 students are complete in case any students are absent skip those roll numbers and select the next mth roll number till a total of 30 students are selected the first child selected after the sampling is complete will be assigned nas id 01 and so on this is also the order in which these students should be seated update the control sheet accordingly with help of the student attendance register with this you have successfully completed your module for understanding sampling